this is my deleted deck uh, pro, uh, stride deck. Uh, it's a work in progress, but for the most part, there's no nothing missing. I, I sort of like the deck. So let me start it off. Uh, I run the best starter in the game for the deleters. It's Igor. Uh, when you delete a Vanguard, uh, unflip one, draw one, best starter. The great three search is not that great. And the new one, where it's like when you retire and you banish something, doesn't do anything else. The banish mechanic is way, too, way, 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 way too slow. So Igor is still the best starter in the game. So we're going to go straight into the, we're gonna go straight into the uh, triggers. I play two stands, because two stands are actually draw triggers. Stands and the leaders are very good. And I play six of six crits uh, for the new one and just two random ones. The new crit says, uh, basically, when you boost a vanguard, or sorry, when you boost, a, when you boost anything, uh, it goes to the top of the deck, shuffle your deck, banish one, and then flip one. So they got another one flipper, which is really good, which is really good for the leaders, because the leaders are really kind of blast heavy. Four heals, four heals, and four draws. Yeah. Pretty standard build, except for the two stands. Two stands are not, it doesn't hurt me that much. When you're at zero and I stand something, even for 14k, it still hurts. So it's it's an amazing, an amazing, amazing thing to have. From the new set, I play four drowns. This is a non, this doesn't even have to hit. It's such a great card. Uh, basically what it does is, when, when I boost a vanguard, when I boost a vanguard, it goes into the soul, discard one, and then draw two, it's, and you banish, and you banish delete one card from your opponent's drop zone. It's it's really good. Uh, sometimes when I'm grade locked, uh, when I don't have a grade three in my hand, and I do this turn two, I always mostly get my grade three. Next card, evils for for, for perfect cards. I don't run the new card because there's no. I feel like there's no way you're going to delete and perfect guard a delete unit. It's just it's impractical, you know. So like evil. If you even want to run the new Link Joker perfect guard, that unfolds, go ahead. But this deck does not have any kind of blast, kind of blast problems because of Igor and the crits, and you, you shouldn't be using that many crits. Two Destiny dealers for Stride, obviously, because you need Stride fodder, especially for this deck. I play Aleda, building the uh, derailing, deriding, really, really Aleda. Basically, what he does is, if your Vanguard is deleted, the 7k attacker, uh, Soul Blast 1, draw a card. Uh, this deck retires a lot, so you need a lot, a lot of draw power. Play, I play four of those with the four drowns, which gives you a lot of draw power. Then we go to the grade twos. I play juxtapose the other Gale. Uh, lock, locking is a great mechanic. It definitely slows down your opponent. Um, if you're able to lock people's rear guards, definitely, definitely hurts them, especially when they're deleted. All right, they can't. Intercept, they can't they can't do a lot of things, especially if you lock their starter, but this is only front row for this card. But if you're locking their front row and only have to deal with the Vanguard attack, you're you're already winning because you don't have to drop that many cards, especially for this deck. <laughs> I play three Geos, uh, because ripples is a thing. Alright, I need 10k vanillas, uh, and sometimes, uh, depending on if I go first or not, a lot of people like to 9k rush me with grade twos. This stops them dead in their tracks. Uh, I didn't believe in vanillas before I started running this, and it actually stops a lot of decks from just rushing you. Those sword me 19k rolls, the 10k, and it's no problem at grade two. Then we have you got I don't, I don't know how to pronounce the name, you got they have all weird names. He got is a 12k attacker, basically 9k, 12k attacker. As long as you're hitting for more than 10k, your, your opponent's in a really, really tough bind. Okay, uh, 12k attackers are great, especially against a zero. Now we're gonna get to the, the bosses. The bosses are specific to whether you're gonna go first or not. I play Oaxus. Oaxus is still a hurtful card to play, especially in, in this meta. Um, some people want to get their stride brick skills off. So basically, what Oaxus does is, is Counter Blast 3, delete a card, eat something, and then he gains plus 21k. But we don't really play him for that. If we go first, and the person wants to give you the grade 2 game, you know, the grade 2 game, 
you want to do use his effect first because when they ride to grade three, they have to discard a card. And if they want to ride to grade three and discard a card and stride, that's two cards minus. So they're already in a, in a really bad spot. When you ride Pokesis. So that's you want to play him when your first turn when you're running when you're riding first turn. Then we have Mr. The Chaos running at four. Uh, this deck, this thing might be changed. Oxus may be run that two, and then I may get the Legion. Uh, it depends on, it's still more playtesting, but it's the build I like so far. So what Chaos does is, on ride, uh, Counter Blast two, discard two, lock two units, and you do the on ride. So that means that when I ride, I can actually stride over and make a really scary vanguard because I have on-hit vanguards that actually do a lot. So you're already locking down two columns and you're deleting their vanguard when you're turning your stride. It's very, very, and it also fuels the whole uh, uh, the leader strides because the, leader, the new deleter stride is a G-break too, which I'm going to get into that right now. I play two Genesis Dragons for Stride. Um, so basically what your first turn, what your second turn would be is Ride Chaos, then after you Ride Chaos, do your shenanigans with Delete, Lock 2, then you Ride over with Genesis Dragon. This is a really scary column, and it drops down perfect guards early, very early. Then we have, I run, I just run two Nebula Crunches because Nebula, I feel like Nebula Crunches is still a good card. Sometimes I don't get the whole locking mechanic done uh, very well, so I need to like slow down the opponent. Uh, Nebula Crunches have saved me a lot of games to slow down where I can actually get a turn ahead again because they just, they're just their whole column is locked, and I was, we only got to do it two attacks. Then we have the big boy, Igor. This is from the new set. As a generation rare, uh, basically what he does is if your deleter, if you have a deleter heart, counterblast one, lock a unit, lock, sorry, delete a unit, lock a unit in the back row, and retire one of your units, and then you banish delete a card from their drop zone. Uh, it, it really hurts because it's not a persona flip, so you run, so you, you stride into him, he goes away, then you keep striding every single turn after that. That's basically four, sh five strides if you get chaos, if you get chaos. So basically you're deleted all game. You won't get your stride break skills, you won't get your break right skills off if you're playing break right somehow. So basically this is a really, it really hurts when I stride, ride, and delete you. And basically for the whole game, after your first stride, you ride him, delete, goes away, third stride, delete, Four stride delete, fifth stride delete. Usually it never gets past two strides. So you're usually gonna die. We'll see. Do those turns. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's my deleted deck. I uh, hope you like it. All right. And if you have any feedback, just leave it in the comments. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.